We're here at the Rancho Park Golf Course for the annual Police Celebrity Golf Tournament, where this year the, uh, well, the chairman of it is the one, the only, Telly Savalas. And unfortunately for us, we didn't get a chance to talk with his publicist and set up an interview, but we did manage to uh, get the cover of this year's program. Telly, of course, as you know, is the star of Kojak, a series that I guess it ran several years where he played a police lieutenant in New York City. Telly obviously is a big supporter of the police department, and uh, that is obvious by the fact that he is chairman of the Police Celebrity Golf Tournament. Uh, his film career not only was in the Kojak series, but before that, Telly, you probably uh, may recognize from films like The Dirty Dozen. Uh, hard to believe that Telly Savalas became a sex symbol uh, because of the fact that in his early film career he always played the hardcore guy, the, the kind of the ugly guy, if you remember The Dirty Dozen. I'm sure you remember Telly from that role. But there are numerous celebrities here today. Uh, ho hopefully we can maybe get some. Uh, again, we haven't spoken to any public relations person from the police celebrity golf tournament, so if we can, we will. Uh, there are pictures of different celebrities inside, so we may get to those later on. Amazing. There it is. He just teed off, ladies and gentlemen, Bob Selleck, the father of Tom Selleck, uh, is here. This is an exciting day. This yeah, is Sandy really Palacios. Did I say your name correctly, Sandy? Um, yes, you did. And you are from where? Uh, Cerritos. It's an exciting day, obviously. You've yeah. seen some celebrities? Um, yes, like Dick, Mar Dick Martin. <laughs> oh, from laughing? Yeah, it was really interesting. Did you get any autographs? Um, no, not yet. I just uh, got here. <laughs> by any chance, did you talk to Telly Savalas? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. Oh, darn. <laughs> And the action continues. They're still teeing off at the various holes, and uh, we're still here waiting for some celebrities to come by that we can interview for this. Down there on the fairway, uh, in the red shirt, I think is the star of numerous films, television shows, a man whose career has spanned 30 years, Mr. Fred McMurray. And I think it's him, uh, because we saw him earlier when he came out of the clubhouse. He did have a red shirt on. I'm not, no, I'm, no, that isn't him. Attending a function, of course, that is sponsored by the Los Angeles Police Department. Security is always important. We have uh, our news media identification cards that we had to have assigned to us earlier today. Not only do we just have our names on it, but if we take a look at the back, height, hair color, eye color, and a right index fingerprint, which is all important because in case we do get near some celebrities, we've got to be able to be security cleared. We just spotted probably one of the most popular guys in syndication history. We're talking about Alan Hale, from uh, the, the man who plays the skipper on Gilligan's Island, a show that you've seen on the Superstation and probably all around the country. It seems like it's been with us forever. It's a very, I hope we can get a chance to talk to him. There he is over there. Uh, well, there's a lot of people around him. I don't know if we can get to him or not, but it would be fun to talk to Alan Hale. Uh, okay, we're well, trying to get to Alan Hale now. I think if we can probably get through the crowd, we can probably talk to him. Uh, oh. Unfortunately, the crowd is getting autographs. We can't really get to him, but, but there he is, ladies. That's probably the hat that he wore on the show. Remember, what a guy. A very lucky lady is next to us. She got Alan Hill's autograph. This is Gladys Eddy. She's from Rochester, Minnesota, who is visiting Los Angeles and some friends, right? Oh, yes, my sisters. My yeah. sisters. Mm -hmm. Do you have anybody back in Rochester you want to say hello to? Well, I have a son, Earl, and a son, Kenneth, and their families. Hello, boys. Have you gotten a lot of autographs of the celebrities today? Uh, i gotten several, but not... Well, McLean was a big one. <laughs> and this one. Well, who are we talking about? Alan Hale, of course. Mm -hmm. Sure. I wonder if we can maybe, you know, show the autograph. Uh, have you been a fan of his from Gilligan's Island? Yes. Oh, my, yes. The first time around and now, too. Yeah, the show's been with us quite a while. There's Alan Hale's autograph. Mm -hmm. Well, you, I hope you have a real good time today. And thank well, you, Gladys. Thank you. This is exciting as can be. <laughs> Uh, here we are seeing Mr. Jack Lemmon, one of the truly greats of Hollywood. A man who was recently nominated for an Oscar for his role in the film Missing. And there he is today doing his best to help out the Los Angeles Police Department as we see him now uh, getting into his golf cart and uh, driving past our interview site, Mr. Jack Lemmon. One of the biggest celebrities here today, Mr. Bob Newhart, popular star of his own show right now, the Bob Newhart show. Bob, can we get an interview with you I'm for a second? Signing, I'm signing on, I guess. Mr. Bob Newhart, one, as I said, one of the biggest celebrities here today. Uh, thank you very much, Bob. Uh, another one of the celebrities here today, of course, is uh, Alex Trebek, host of the popular game show Battle Stars. Which Alex, how are you? Bob, how are you? Good to see you. Bill. Alex, it's Bill, personal friend of mine. 
We're here at our interview site and behind us in that golf cart surrounded by people. Obviously a popular person, and it is. It's Ernest Borgnine, a man we've enjoyed in Marty, a man we've enjoyed in McHale's Navy, and so many other things, is in that golf cart right behind the interview site, uh, signing autographs for his many, many fans, of which we can all see. Ernest Borgnine has a lot of them. He's in there. He really is. Jack Lemon, Ernest Borgnine, Telly Savalas, Alex Trebek, Alan Hale, some of the great names of show business were here today. It's always interesting in Hollywood, the people you get to meet, the people you get to talk to. And today, it was all for a good cause, the Police Celebrity Golf Tournament here in Los Angeles. And what else can we say about the day? <laughs>